Hey guys, and welcome to the next bit of how to get easy levels with only using quests. So if you ever become, if you ever think about becoming a knight of King Arthur, that will be now because we're gonna do the Merlin's Crystal quest now. Merlin is the wizard of King Arthur, and he needs to be freed. From, uh, out of a crystal which he's trapped in so this here is Camelot Camelot castle with King Arthur and his knights so we go in in and talk to King Arthur there he is so we ask if we can be uh, an idol of the round table and he says you can but you need to do a quest first which is rescuing uh, Merlin so now we need to talk to tonight. We go upstairs. Now we talk to Tristan first. And he doesn't know anything. So then we open this door and we talk with uh, Sir Lancelot, <coughs> which is the most famous knight of King Arthur. He says I need you need to go to talk to Sir Gawain. So first we're gonna need to talk to Sir Gawain. He's outside. And you must ask, uh, you must ask um, how Merlin got trapped. And he knows that is the work of Morgan of Fay, it's an evil witch. So now you must find her. And now you must ask her for the stronghold, and she does, he, he doesn't know. So you must ask that to Sir Lancelot, who is upstairs. In this room, he's there. Lancelot is the most famous knight of King Arthur, of course. When you ask him how you get in a Morgan of stronghold, and he says you need to uh, you need to get a boat in uh, Ketterby, so we go there now. So we need to fight. An enemy of level 30, 39 when we have the stronghold. So we're gonna we're gonna go to Caterby and get uh, get a weapon. <clears throat> I will just use magic and bring some food with me <clears throat> because it can be very it's still dangerous with combat 27 because we have still zero defense. But that will be alright. <clears throat> so the reason we're doing this quest is because of the following quest. We need this quest to um, do the quest Holy Grail, which gives you 11,000 prayer XP. And also um, a lot of defense XP. So you will immediately be around 30 defense also. So we get this magic, the magic, the air stuff of the air stuff of magic. Then just all our food <clears throat> and protection we already have on. And we also bring the mind rune, the new spell. Then you go to Arheim to ask if you can go with the ship to Morgan of Face Stronghold. You say, uh, Can I come? And then he says, I don't think so because I have my orders. So then you. Uh, go into this crate to be still smuggled in you you go into the stronghold and then once you're there you must equip your stuff and put the spell on 
Spirit Strike first. But we only have 8 spells, uh, 4 spells, so I will be changing to Water. To Water Strike uh, very quick. Now we go upstairs. And upstairs again. So you come. Uh, so you see the son of Monk and the Fae. Then you um, talk with him. And he's going to attack you, so you must. Uh, you must defeat this guy. <coughs> <coughs> Just. Magic him and use good spells on him. In that way, you will be no problem. Okay, just watch your food. Once he is dead, <clears throat> the Morgan of Fable appear, and you, uh, and she will tell you. How to free Merlin from his crystal? Hmm, hit point level up. So now we need to kill him. Now he dies, now more color face. Um, Appears and she says uh, not to kill him. And the only reason you uh, not kill him is to tell her how you can untrap Merlin from his uh, crystal. <coughs> and he and she says uh, you can uh, set him free. With the sword Excalibur, which we now must find. And now she said the Lady of the Lake has it. And now you ask for the magic word. But that's on the Chaos Altar, so we need to go there uh, first. So now you must leave the castle. Not dying in the program. Get these fast, as fast as you can. And escape the stronghold in the crate again. So we just survived that. <clears throat> you can bring more food if you want. Or use melee if you want to, but I chose magic because magic has more effect on uh... <coughs> So once we arrive back here, we need to talk with the candle maker. You can make, you must ask if you can make black candles because we need a black candle. And he says uh, he can make, if I get a, if I get him a, a, a bucket of wax, wax. So now we need to get the insect repellent from here to kill all the bees in the beehive. So you take it. And you go to the bank to get a to get a bucket. <clears throat> Just one bucket is enough, and also um, take a tinder bowl to light the can. <clears throat> After this, we will go to. Uh, We will go to Farrok to get the spell, how to free, how to um, trap the spirit that you need to uh, call <coughs> to free Merlin from the crystal. So you use the the insect repellent on the beehive and they die so you can collect the wax 
which is in the bucket now. So now we go back to the um, <coughs> to the candle maker in the candle store, <coughs> and then he gives you a black candle. So that we have already that part. Talk with him, you said you got the wax, and then he makes black candle, which we already can light. <coughs> so, once we get the black candle, we need to go uh, to the Lady of the Lake, who is uh, hiding here under Deverly. So, we must go over the um, White Wolf Mountain, which is next to Caterby. Be sure you bring food with you and we need one bread from the bank which we still have now we go to Caterby <coughs> to Beverly to find the lady of the lake and uh, she has a, a challenge for us to get Excalibur So after this quest I will be doing Holy Grail, that's why we need this quest, because then only you can do Holy Grail, and Holy Grail is about getting the Holy Grail for uh, King Arthur and his knights, and it gives you huge uh, prayer and defense XP, so it's very uh, useful quest. This one is just, we only get the Excalibur from this, it's a sword, and we will uh, also receive the um, six quest points. So watch out for the wolves. Just run. This is the big wolf. He hits extra hard. So whenever you can run, just run. <coughs> Be careful. You need to have you need to um, have one bread for the quest. <coughs> so we actually have one. One bread left. That's good because we need that. So we also survived that. <coughs> and now we go to Lady of the Lake. Just run. So you outrun the wolves. So now you go south. <clears throat> and then you can go to a little island where the Lady of the Lake is hiding. Which is here. So she's standing here, you need to talk with her how to retrieve the Excalibur and she will give you a, a little challenge. So you say to her... <coughs> so you ask um, for Excalibur, for the sword, and she says uh, that you need to do a little test, which is go to Port Sharim and... Uh, Go to the jewelry store. But before we do that, we go, we'll go to Farrog first. Because if we in Farrog, we can already um, get the magic words that we need. <coughs> Otherwise, we need to go to Port Sharim and then back to Farrog. Now we can go to Farrog and then Port Sharim. And then from there we can go to uh, get to be again. So you save the whole trip. To Fairwalk and back. I'll oh, just go to Fairwalk first. After that we will home teleport. And then we can go to uh, Port Rim easy. Thank you. 
Also, when we are very well, um, <coughs> I'm going to sell the diamonds that we got from the last quest and also the gold bars, so we can get some money. So once we're there, we will get a spell <coughs> to summon to control the spirit, which we which will appear when we try to. Uh, can we try to summon the spirit? So the spirit gives you three options. If you choose the wrong option, the spirit will attack you. So you must guess the right option. So it's useful to write down or remember the the, the magic words. So we're gonna move to the ground exchange. To get some money <coughs> and also get some more food and also Camelot teleport then we are uh, way more easy back <coughs> like you don't have to walk the whole time so we're gonna bang <coughs> and then Take the diamonds off, the gold bars, and all the material seeds, which I will all sell. And it's quite a lot. The diamonds give you maybe twenty-five thousand, and also sell the gold bars. Then I will buy a camel to the port. Only 300 coins, not much. So you immediately go to, if you break this, you immediately did to Camelot, no matter what your magic level is. And we're also gonna buy a new item. Maroon Skimeter, because we are already 50, uh, 40 attack. So with, it, with this we can hit way more. <coughs> so now we're gonna get the magic spell so the meteor seeds from the waterfall quest immediately gives you the room the room skin meter requires 40 attack yeah we, we, we got it so the, the spell is written on the Prayer altar, which is located here in the south, in the southeast of uh, Fairwalk. We, uh, we can also recharge our prayer when we are there. That's useful. So we open the door, we're gonna go to the altar to first restore our prayer. So you must take the altar for the magic spell. You need to write this down or remember it's Norton Country Dermanto. And some lady is here to give you uh, some little food. So now we're gonna collect the Excalibur itself <coughs> using home teleport. We always go to the ground exchange to buy more teleport. It's very useful. You don't have to walk that long anymore, which is quite annoying.
So I'm just gonna. So once we're here, I'm gonna... So after the room... So after that you also can buy other teleports <clears throat> because it's very useful. So we're just gonna buy two Arnoy teleport. Also feral teleport. So we can go to the Grand Exchange very easy. A couple of five, four would be enough. Now we got the money from the mutual seeds. Um follow the teleport is also useful because there are still some quests doing to do there. And they, they will buy it automatically and we will buy one Limbridge teleport. And we We will just wait for the folder teleport then to it uh, buy. And we will buy one <coughs> Lumberage data port. <coughs> and we will buy one Lumberage data And we... We will buy one <coughs> the rich data board to be quick there. We also buy one stamina pot. Stamina pot is uh, very useful because it lets you uh, lets you run very quickly. So it's like, quite expensive, so you can choose if you want to buy it or not. But I will do that. So we go to Limbridge right now, and then you use the stamina potion. That you let that let you run longer and longer, like it doesn't go that fast. The, your energy. So it saves quite a lot. Walking. Now we'll go to Port Sarim to the jewelry store to give the bread to the Lady of the Lake, who will be hiding as a beggar. <coughs> And then she will give you the Excalibur. You don't need to buy the stamina potion, but it's very useful, I think. But yeah, it's still quite expensive. So once we back at, Camel at Camelot again, we need to fight a bat <coughs> for his bones, because we need bat bones. But yeah, that will be very easy. They are not uh, that powerful. After that, we will say the magic spell in the circle uh, back to uh, Camelot. <coughs> and then we will uh, get the spell to save Merlin. So it's like you open the door, then there's a beggar, which is which has with SQ bread, so you give him the bread. 
and then it turns out to be the Lady of the Lake, which gives you Excalibur. So now we go back to Camelot, <clears throat> and then first we're gonna kill a bat. They are flying uh, around here, not that far away. Magic to get some bones. Also, go for your magic XP, which will level soon. Level 19. You can also use again the, the magic booster, which gives you 5% more magic accuracy. And also magic defense, plus 5%. So we just wait till it dies and get his bone. Which can you and then you can retrieve his bad bones, which we need. They're only uh, for the ceremony, of course. So now we're going back to Camelot, to the castle, castle, <clears throat> and then uh, we will go to the to the magic uh, square to summon the spirit and force him to release uh, Merlin from the crystal. So we go in Camelot Castle again, then we go to the east, to the backyard of the cam of the castle. And then here you see a magic circle. Which we are going to put the bed bones in. Which you drop them. And then the spirit appears. And then you say the words Snarten Kentrick Tamanto. Which you uh, let you control the ghost and he must do what you say. So you say, so you say uh, free Merlin from his giant crystal and then uh, he does do that. So you go back to the castle, to the castle and equip. Yeah, that's very important. You need to equip uh, the, the Excalibur. And then free Merlin from his crystal. He is hidden, he is trapped in the top of the tower. In the southeast. So we're going to the southeast door. So we go to the, so we go into the southeast door. So we go into the southeast door and we open it. You can bury the bed bones now. You don't need them anymore. Some prayer HP, and then you go upstairs here, and again, and then you see murder against crystal, which you can smash now with the Excalibur, and you freeze him. Now you must go to King Arthur for your for your reward, which you can do here. And you open the door, and then you see King Arthur again. You talk to him to. Um, to say that Merlin is freed from his uh, crystal. And it completes the quest Merlin's crystal. You get Excalibur and success points, but like I said, we only did this quest uh, because we need to do the following quest, which retrieves um, the Holy Grail and very much prayer and a defense XP. But we will do that in the next one.